Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be opening and reviewing the Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse Evil Lynn. She is brand new and starting to hit stores and online retailers right now as of the time of this recording and retails for approximately $20. So we here we have Evil Lynn in the new Masterverse style packaging. We've seen this with the other two figures before. We've got the black on the bottom. Masters of the Universe Revelation by Mattel. We've got the blue on the top Netflix original series. We've got the Masterverse logo right there around the side. Just Evil Lynn's name, Evil Warrior Goddess. Along the side here, we've got some really cool artwork of Evil Lynn doing her thing. And then right around the back, we've got some more of that really, really cool artwork right there. That looks absolutely amazing. And we've got a quick bio for evil in right there the dark sorceress ever present by skeletor's side weaves sinister spells to assist in his conquest to conquer castle grayskull a dangerous foe with malicious intent evil in is not above allying herself with the heroic warriors for her own ambition and the untapped universal power held within eternia whether standing on the side of evil or on the side of good, Evil Lynn is to be feared, but never trusted. And there we've got the artwork of Evil Lynn. We've got some cross cells. We've got He-Man, Moss Man, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. And again, I always find it hysterical when they cross sell you the same figure you're already buying. But that is about it for the packaging. Let's get her opened up and check her out. And here we have Evil Lynn out of the package and shown with everything she comes included. And as always, I always like to point out that these figures all come with this nice, cool little rocky background. So you can use this for either display or for photography, whatever you want to do with it. It's very cool that they include this. I would like to see them start doing some different backgrounds. Maybe it's like some uh, gray skull style green rock or some snake mountain style purple rock, something like that. That would be cool to start seeing with those. And then finally, here is Evil Lynn out of the package. She comes with a ton of accessories. This is really, really cool. So Evil Lynn here stands approximately seven inches tall. All kinds of articulation with this figure right here. We've got the head on a ball joint. So you can move up and down, side to side, inquisitive. You've got the universal pin at the shoulder so you can move in and out, forward and backwards, all the way around. We can rotate at the bicep. We have a double hinge right there at the elbow, and we've got a rotation. Actually, we have a pin, a universal pin at the wrist, so you can move forward and backwards. You can also rotate, and of course, you know, we can uh, pop the hands out and replace those as well. Let's put this aside for just a moment. Let's get down here to the rest of the articulation. So you've got a mid-torso ball joint right there. We've got a rotation at the waist. The skirt here is a soft rubbery style plastic so this will move around it is pliable and it'll allow you to move the legs the hips can go forward that far back uh, about that far right there you can go in and out you also have a rotation right there at the top top of the thigh another double hinge at the knee right there rotation at the top of the boot and another universal pin joint at the uh, heel itself or rather at the ankle so you can go forward and backward and you can move side to side. So let's check out Evil Lynn right here up close. Let's check out all the details. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to pose her, how to move her around. But just taking a quick close look at her, you've got the classic Evil Lynn look with the, I, I don't know what to call that. Is that like a crowned hood maybe? I'm not sure, but you've got the hood with that skull right there at the top. And then you've got like the crown pieces there going off. Just that classic look right there. 
very cool going all the way around so you can see the entire headpiece. And we've got kind of like this updated, almost like a wintry look for Evil Lynn right here where we've got the fur going around the uh, the collar right there. Uh, we don't have like the bikini style armor anymore. It's very similar to what that looked like, but now we're going down in the pants themselves. So she actually has pants and boots. And then you've got the skirt going around the bottom here. Very cool update. I really like the design of these updates that they did for the Revelation series. So going all the way around, so you can see you've got the detail right there, the belt buckle right there. You've got a little uh, clip right there, maybe for a sash or something like that, even though she does come with another sash. And then just kind of going all the way around so you can see all the detail on the skirt with the lining and everything. Very, very cool looking detailed figure. Very nice. So we'll set her off to the side here. We'll look at a couple of her ex included accessories. So we've got uh, two pairs of closed fists right here. So you can pop these on if she's fighting or whatever. These aren't going to hold anything. They're just closed hands. And you can see that she already comes packaged with an open right hand. You also have an open left hand that will match. And then she's got a semi-closed uh, left hand that can hold things. You also have another semi-closed right hand. These can also close things. Now, she did come holding her crystal ball, the short version of the crystal ball. I'm not going to go into any spoilers, but basically she does come with two of these. If you haven't watched the series, um, I would say on a personal note, uh, don't listen to the internet and just go watch it and form your own opinion. Um, I found the series very, very enjoyable. That's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, you've got the full length staff for her crystal ball. And then you've also got a short staff crystal ball right there. So you can choose which one you wish for her to carry. So I'm just going to give her the short staff on this hand. I'm going to swap out this hand right here because I want to do something. As you can see, the hand just pops right out. And I am going to give her the semi-closed right hand for something else that I'm going to do. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to switch it over to here and you'll see why in just a moment. All right. So we've got, so we've gone over the hands. So we'll set those off to the side. We've gone over the staffs. We'll set that one off to the side. We've got a sash right here. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. So we'll go ahead and give her her sash. Just like that. And then, of course, she also has a second head. So we'll go ahead and pop this off. Let's see how easy that is. That is, let's see, the ball joint is going to go into the head itself. There we go. Wow, that is on there. All right, this gives us a good opportunity to look at the actual articulation for the head. So the pin itself can move forward and backward, and it does not rotate. It just moves forward and backward, and of course, you got the ball there for the head. And again, I'm not going to go into any spoilers, but there is a reason why this figure came with... The second head and her not wearing her crown so there's that and uh, yeah that looks pretty cool i know when my daughter saw this um she absolutely lost it so that's pretty cool that she comes with that so there you go you have an option for display right there now before i do a comparison listen, i'm gonna go ahead and switch her back over <laughs> oh my that's really on there that's good i guess right those uh, joints are super tight and we're gonna pop this head back on wow yeah, those are really tight. Very nice. And here's something that I wanted to do. This is kind of the reason I bought her is because Skeletor came packaged with the shaping staff. And if you remember in the old uh, filmation cartoons back in the day, Evil Lynn was the one that really kind of made use of the shaping staff. So I really wanted to give this to her. I wanted to see how well it would work. And um, yeah, that actually looks really good let me see if i can get her into a cool pose right there and uh yeah that looks pretty menacing i would not be messing with her if i saw that right there <laughs> that looks super cool yeah i'm really happy with these figures and again i'm i'm just i like the new designs the updated designs of all of the characters I'm really digging them and uh yeah these figures are just absolutely beautiful again shout out to kato here because i was not i was gonna pass over on this entire line and he kind of talked me into getting that first a skeleton figure and as soon as i did that i was kind of all in i was hooked so there you go there's evil lynn uh i think this is the way that i'm going to display her now for comparison here she is with her good buddy skeletor so you can see what these guys look like together and how they size up 
to each other. So yeah, these these figures. I'm again, I'm all in. These are absolutely fantastic. You can get these from Entertainment Earth. I'll put a link down below so you can get your own. And I think that about does it for the Masterverse Masters of the Universe Revelation evil lynn what did you think of this figure let me know down in the comments give me some thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when i upload a new video i've got a donate button up there if you want to hit on that i certainly would appreciate it please share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time